Our source HTML project is now open in Pinegrove and the first thing we have to do is activate WordPress support on the project. So in the WordPress panel, click on activate WordPress and a team settings dialog comes up and here we have to tell Pinegrove what kind of project we, we are creating. So for the project type, we have two choices, either team or plugin. Here we will select team because we want to make a self-contained um, team. Next, we give it a name. So for example, flex website and a slug. Let's say flex website. And here we select a team folder inside our local uh, WordPress install. So here I'm using uh, local by flywheel, but that could be any, any local development environment. And in teams, we create a folder and, and that's funny, like the latest OS, uh, Mac OS doesn't have a button for creating a folder yet anymore in, in this dialog. So I'll go here, right click, show in Finder and then I'll create a folder here. Flex website and select it as our team folder. So all the team files will be exported directly into my local WordPress installation so that we'll be able to easily like test all the changes and develop it step by step. So that's all that is required for start. Let's say save settings. And now we can go and export the team. Pangro informs us that um, two files were created and added to the project. So functions PHP and style CSS. And also custom PHP that can be used to easily add any custom PHP code to our project. So let's go to the WordPress dashboard, appearance teams. And here we have now our flex website. So let's activate it and then view the site and everything is it's just uh, like we, we have in our original HTML project. So we could stop here actually and say, oh, look, like now our website, HTML website is converted into WordPress site. And if we would have a very simple, just like static HTML that we would for some reason want to host uh, through WordPress, we could do that. But uh, what we want is to take advantage of, of WordPress uh, and make our content dynamic so that this website can be easily managed, changed and its content updated. And let's take a peek behind the scenes at the files that were generated by Pinegrow. So here we have like index.php that contains all the HTML as it is with some like WordPress tags added to take care of uh, mapping the resources and translating the texts and so on. And also the, we have the header PHP and then we have the footer PHP so all of that was done by Pinegrow, but that's just the start. So what we want is we want to make our website dynamic. And if we take a look at these sections, oh, and here notice a problem like header. So what, 
what happened here. Uh, okay, here we have mistake in the in the source file. So we need the rounded corners on all sides. So okay, now we made the change here in HTML. Save the page. And then the theme was also exported when we save it. Reload and here we have our fixed info. Like uh, fix is now visible in the WordPress site. Okay. But now comes the interesting part. We will now take the sections of this website and we will implement each of these sections as a custom Gutenberg block. And before we start doing that, let's organize our project a bit better. So now everything is in index.html. So let's duplicate index.html and call it blocks html and we could give it any name doesn't matter but blocks html will be like a factory our factory for blocks a place where we define our blocks and we don't want to define a new master page we just say use the original and here in page settings and that's important because we don't want we don't need blocks php to be exported as a template we just want the blocks to be exported individually so that's why we will say don't export this page so only index php will be exported and here we don't need the blocks now we don't need this content so we are on index HTML, so we have like do content and then I'll click on uh, alt and this so to co collapse the whole section like the whole level and here we can see the sections that we will convert into Gutenberg blocks and we don't need them here because we have them on blocks HTML so let's delete everything and our index template contains just to often empty deal that will contain all the content of the page and to display the content here we need to add a wordpress loop and that is done by adding show post section and let's preview the PHP code. So show posts adds the WordPress loop around that element. And then what we also need is to show the content here. So just keep the div selected and then we'll say post content. And now this added the content uh, function call inside the div element. So you may wonder why don't we also use like the title, the excerpt and so on. And the reason is that we will use this template as a kind of template for a hybrid full site editing, not using the, the new full site editing. Uh, in WordPress, but basically having this template just display the content of the page and then the content will be implemented with custom Gutenberg blocks. So all the sections of the website will be individual custom fully editable Gutenberg blocks and they will get displayed here in as the content of our front page. So as you will see, this is very simple approach and also very flexible. Um, so we will do that, that here. And if we export the project and see what happened here. <clears throat> uh, 
We now have a very simple index that just displays the WordPress loop and the content of each post or page in this loop. And the blocks are not yet exported because we didn't define them yet.